Good morning, Figgy. How are we doing today? Little extra growth coming in. Woo! All right. So uh, I'm going to be building a roof uh, in about two, three weeks. You know, part of the process of building a roof is getting plywood up to the up to the spot where it needs to be nailed down. And uh, the old ladies aren't having it as far as doing the old school up the ladder deal. So I picked this, uh, this winch up at uh, Hobo Freight. I'm gonna make a little ladder hoist. I looked, at, uh, <laughs> I looked at a bunch of different ladder hoists for sale on the internet and they're about $1,500 more than I wanna spend. This hoist here, 160 bucks. And I've already got a ladder. So I'm going to do a little design on the fly, get an old ladder that's a little warped so I don't mind using it, and uh, hell, we'll put together our own little homemade hoist. We'll see how it comes out. I guess before we go to the trouble of designing a hoist, I should see if this bad boy works. Ooh, Badland. That means it must be super good. That's a known brand, right? Right? It's that booklet right there probably explains what this is. We'll put it there for now. So uh, here we go. This looks like a mounting plate. Oh boy. Nuts and bolts. Piece of cast iron for something. Oh, there she be. This one's nice because it has the uh, remote control. So I can have that up on the roof. Press up and in theory, as long as I design something that'll slide on a ladder. Pull it up. Let's plug it in. Looks like uh, she's a spinner. Now let's uh, figure out the ladder situation. Ooh, it's 45 today. Guess that means we can open the garage door. Ladder's over in that garage there. I'll go grab it. There she is. This looks like a good sleigh bottom oh yeah she'll ride oh this little bit of two by four left over will go a long way to helping this adventure maybe this two by three see it pays to keep scraps you'll use them eventually pretty arbitrary but i'll uh start with 20 inch side rails now these two by fours will be riding up the side See, it's going to get caught here, so we'll have to, on the inside of this, make thin strips. So this ladder is 17 and 3 quarters, and then if we just look right here, we can eagle eye the ladder rung spots. So we'll give those a quarter inch on each side. So we're dealing with 18 and a quarter to clear. Oh, that 2x6 has just been sitting there all winter, waiting to get used on something. That's not exactly what I'd call square. Smart it there, I'll cut the end off. Batteries might save the world, but uh, we're plugging in this beast to get this job done uh, quickly and with enough power. Eighteen and a quarter inches to clear the width of the ladder plus the uh, nubs here. And this is an inch and a half thick. Okay, what's the math on that? Oh yeah, 21 and a quarter. Come over here, and you know what? I'm just going to give it an extra sixteenth of an inch just for giggles. should be able to clear all of this. So these are gonna get lagged onto the back. So there's the beginning, the back of the sled. Well, good morning, Mr. Drill. Get a bit in you so we can put some holes in that. I'm gonna figure out what we're gonna use for fasteners here. These aren't big enough, these aren't thick enough. Those two will work. Probably need more than two. There's some uh, used construction screws. Oh, 
those. Uh, all right, we can make this work. Drill out some pilot holes here for the PRK. So we'll do uh, one lag in the center and then two of these GRKs right there. I'll put a little goo on you know, on the two by fours. good we do need those little strips though to keep it off of the sides let's do the strips first now let's go ahead and make these those 20 inches that I made the slid tracks the strips cut we're gonna put them right at the bottom and just to show you where they'll ride they'll ride down here along the bottom and they'll clear this so I'm gonna just put a little glue there because they are gonna take a beating just put a little tiny wood glue the strips down make sure they're flush with the two by four and we'll tack them in with some brads let's see if I'm still on the right track here pardon the pun okay she slides good I think that's gonna work Next we gotta figure out the front. So I've decided I think I need two pieces up front because there's gonna be some shifting as things travel up. Uh, I'm gonna make them out of the two by sixes I already have out. So now these two by sixes will ride up front while this rides in the back they'll be connected together so we're getting to the point of no return without disassembly so I'm just double checking my work here trying to think everything through yeah I think I'm gonna send it we'll drill some holes in these front braces Let's put it together. Will this actually work? We shall see. Looks like we got ourselves a sled. All right, platform's on. Okay, I'm 
already seeing a design flaw. When this is weighted like this, it's gonna hang up. So I gotta put a piece on the back and that'll fix that problem. And we gotta brace this up somehow to handle the weight. So we'll do three little triangles out of two by six and that should get us there. All right, let's do up some triangles. Give us a little extra strength. Drill a couple holes. And put some glue on here just to give it that extra added bit of strength. Same thing over here. Blew it. Now we'll go down through the top here. Just tie it. So far, so good. Here, I'll take you in. Okay, so there's the bottom of the shelf. The sled goes up, comes down, but again, there is a design flaw so far, which is par for the course when you're designing on the fly. You figure the weight, when the ladder's upright, it's going to be pulling up, and as you can see, it pulls up too much, so it's going to catch on that next rung, my little strip of wood. So we'll have to put another backer piece right in here. I think a two by three will handle that task and also that might be a good spot to hook on for the winch. So I'm trying to figure out how to hook the hook of the winch with this bad boy here to my sleigh. This guy, let's see if he, if he fits on here and it will. So I'm wondering if I take a hole saw and do a hole right here and do a hole up here that I can, with the hole here, bolt this dead center so there's a place for the hook. So the winch is going to be down mounted behind. I'll have the cable running up and around and down to this hook, down to this hook. There we go. So all I need to do is put a hole with a hole saw right in here. Have this come down, washer it, nut it. And that should hold for uh, for the work we're doing. Oh, in theory. Oh, uh, yeah. Looks good. We gotta get that backer piece on still. I think we should add a little lip here because you figure you're gonna have a four by eight sheet of plywood coming up. If a gust of wind comes in and gets underneath it, it's gonna fling it right off. So if I have a lip here, it won't fall off the front. Just take this little piece of poplar and glue and tack it. on the shelf. Next, let's finally get that back brace on there so it doesn't flip up. All right, she's flipped over now. We're going to put just a two by three brace up here so that it doesn't flop around while it's on its ascent. Let's 
give her a test. Oh, much smoother. Let's mount the winch. All right, let's take a look at this winch. We're gonna want this dead center. So it travels up the center of the ladder. Let's look at the mounting plate. So I'm guessing sits on the plate and it goes up through here. So this needs to be center of the ladder. All right, so I think what we're gonna to need to do in order to get that plate for the winch dead center, uh, it's gonna sit over to the side. I think we'll just do a plywood, piece of plywood connected directly to the ladder. Yeah needs to be bolted so that I can easily remove it. So I'll have to drill two, drill holes in the ladder so that we can do bolts. All right, so I took this and the goal here is to have at least two bolts that are hitting this steel plate on the ladder rung. So we'll do one right through the wood there. Over here, there's just going to be a hole through the wood, and that'll have to do for that. And then I got to do the holes for the actual winch to mount. Uh, center punch. There we go. Do that to all these holes, drill them up. Then we got to, uh, once I have these holes drilled up, I'll be able to mark where I need to drill it into the ladder on both sides. Ah, oh, designing on the fly, isn't it fun? I got the holes put in place for the winch mount. It's gonna bolt to the board. This is one side of the ladder, and then over here is the other side of the ladder. So the bolt will go right through the ladder on that side, but only be bolted to this piece of plywood over here. And I'll uh, sand it up and make it look pretty-ish, and uh, figure out how to get holes in that ladder. Shouldn't be too difficult. Right, that's where the holes are gonna go, yo. Nothing a uh, titanium drill bit won't get through. Okay, no problemo. This could be uh, the weak point of the whole design, but uh, we'll give it a go. Dumped out my uh, collection of nuts and bolts. Every self-respecting man I should have a collection of nuts and bolts. I mean, come on. Well, found these bad boys right here. That'll, oh, sands that one. So yeah, all right. This little collection of fun will uh, get us where we need to be. Let's go uh, attach this bad boy. I've discovered the bolts that actually hold the winch to the steel plate are too short to accommodate Mr. Plywood here. So I'm just gonna use a hole saw and make larger holes so that I can get a socket up there and tighten those nuts. We are armed and ready. Well, it turns out she's uh, just about done, pretty dull. I think I was burning the hole more than I was cutting through the wood. Well, things went decidedly south. I uh, went uh, all the way with a larger hole saw, like I said I wasn't going to. Significantly weakening, weakening pardon me, our, uh, our little mount here. But uh, I'm hoping the steel plate that's gonna mount in these spots will help solidify that maybe? No, probably not. It's almost like a little human.
All right, got the nuts on. Let's tighten the winch up to this bad boy here. Okay, nice. Now we should be able to get right on the mounts. All right, I have those holes lined up. So now we can tighten these bolts down. Then I'll throw the now mounted winch onto there and it should mount in these holes here. In theory, this should work. Got her bolted in to the plywood plate. Got it connected to the uh, ladder here. These bolts aren't long enough that came with the thing, so I'll have to get some new bolts, but they're on tight enough for uh, where we're going at this moment. There's the sled. Now I'll uh, take some slack out of this, I think. Let's see here. Oh, the directions are right on the side. How super convenient. Is that free? That's free. All right, I'm gonna string it up and over and hook it to the uh, little loop there. Guess we'll throw it up and uh, see what she can do. Well, there she is in all her glory. She shall be known as the Knee Saver 5000. Right there. No more hoisting plywood up a ladder and wondering when one of the ladies is going to give out and then plywood crush down on my head. This will be a lifesaver. And you and I are going to test it out for the very first time. Comes with this nifty difty remote control. And uh, let's see if I press the right button. Oh, here we go. Come on now. She ain't the fastest thing in the world, but $169 winch, a ladder that was pretty much junky anyway. So why not use it for this? And a bunch of scrap wood. All right. Does she come back down just as good? Because it's, it's a nice glide. Oh, yeah. Here she comes. Okay, got the down button here. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look from from behind. Oh yeah. That's pretty good. You know it'd be fun? See if I could ride that thing up there. I rode up on the uh, left and right controls here because uh, we don't need to mess that up when there's little bit more weight. I'm going to do a material test. We're in high winds and unfortunately I don't have a 4x8 sheet of anything right now in stock. So we'll just try it with this, uh, oh I don't know, 3x5 piece. Here we go. Look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> you guys have no idea. Well, I mean, maybe if you're watching this, you do have an idea and you need one of these. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's get her back down and uh, leave her at the halfway mark. I have a little dressing up I'd like to do very well build one of these custom jobs without giving it a name. So like I said, I'm, I'm calling her the Knee Saver 5000. And 
yeah, you obviously have to put a custom painted sign on it. Otherwise, is it real? I don't think so. All right, sign painted. We've got the Knee Saver 5000. One thing that I'm gonna just do, final step, because we've got some rubbing here. So I'm just gonna take and self-tap this little tiny piece of aluminum there as sort of a shield for that. Oh, she's good to go now. So she is complete. Get our little remote. So that's it. The Knee Saver 5000, complete. All with nothing uh, out of pocket, but a $169 winch from Harbor Freight. The rest of it I've saved from various projects over the years and was able to cobble this together uh, using an old ladder that really needed to be retired. Totally warped. So that's it for now. As you can see, I gotta clean up the dooryard the shop's a disaster. Just this little project caused a major mess. We'll get it cleaned up. And thanks for watching. Until next time, remember, if it's all stoved up, why don't you give her a go yourself? This has been The Deliberate Manor. I'll see you next time.